and welcome to Nonstop Kids TV. It is uh, Fun Maths with Alex time again. I am Alex uh, and I'm going to be doing some fun maths with you today. I'm going to do this slightly differently to what I've been doing it normally. Uh, you see, uh, normally it's just one thing per episode, but what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do two things this episode and follow it on with two things in the next episode. That's right, we're getting a two-parter. We're going to get uh, one, we're going to talk about something called Flexigons today. And there's a lot of folding and cutting involved, and uh, it'd be easy for me to show you one flexagon in this episode so that you know what they are, and then how to make some cooler ones in the next episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some flexagons, and then I'm going to give you some puzzles at the end, uh, and I'll give you the answers to the puzzles in the next episode as well. Now the reason I'm giving you puzzles uh, as well is because maths is not just about numbers and shapes, although it is about that, uh, it's also about thinking outside the box and thinking logically uh, and finding problems to sol uh, solutions to problems, uh, not problems to solutions, that would be weird. Uh, so we're going to give you some puzzles at the end of this video. Have a go at them, you've got a week to do them, I will then give you the answers in next week's episode. So to begin with, what is a flexagon? Well, I'll show you how to make one first and then I'll explain what they are. And to make it, you're going to need a piece of paper, you're going to need some scissors uh, and you're going to need a little bit of creativity as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a square out of this rectangular piece of paper. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this corner here and we're going to fold this edge so that it lies flat along this edge, just there like that. We're going to fold this in half. Uh, so we're going to fold along that. Also, that's uh, not quite square. There we go. Make sure it lies flat all the way along. And then what you'll see is you've got a, a shape that looks something like this. Uh, and you've got a little flap here. There's this line here, which is made by the flap. You're going to fold this piece over there and then unfold. So we now have a crease line along here. I'm just going to put some Sharpie marker on there so you can see. And we're going to cut all of this bit off like so. Put the line nice and sharp. Cut the line along here, like this, and that is uh, now a square of paper. So this is our square, what we're going to do, we're going to fold it in half twice in one direction and then twice in the opposite direction. Now really make these really good folds, make sure they're really nice and tight and crisp folds the better you do this the easier it's going to be later so we're going to do the same thing here we're going to do nice folds like this we're going to unfold it and we're going to do so we've now folded it that way we're now going to do fold it the same in the other direction so we're going to do this and again nice crisp sharp folds like this and like this and the better you make those folds the easier this is going to be so we now have uh, a fold going along here we have a fold going along here and a fold going along here we have a fold going along here one along here one along here and you'll see we have this nice big square made up of small four, 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 four small squares in the middle and we're going to cut that out. We're going to get rid of that completely. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. You can bodge your scissors in there uh, and cut out to the edges. Now, you might want to get a parent to help you if you do that. But if you remember uh, our fold and cut theme video, what we can do is we can fold it in half and then into quarters uh, and then fold it along the diagonal and just make one cut along here and that will cut out a square for us and that is a nice mathematical way of cutting out a square um, and then of course you have your square here now to make our flexagon 
it's very very simple we're going to make three very easy folds and then we're going to make uh one more difficult fold so we're going to start off with our flexigon like this in fact like this because this folds over nicely so we're going to refold over this line and this line as if it was a book so we're going to take the fold and fold it over we're going to take this top one and fold it down this right hand one and fold it over like you're closing a book now that's the three easy folds now the difficult fold is coming up what we need to do is fold this one up but as if this one wasn't there so it needs to go underneath this bit but up like that so you're gonna to have to open this fold up come on here you're gonna to have to open this fold up fold that up make that flat There we go, and fold it under there. So we now have a square that doesn't come apart, and that is it. So what is a flexagon? Well, it's a shape that you can fold and you can flex to reveal hidden faces, and I'll show you what I mean. So we all know that this is the face of an object. That is, this thing here is our face. So what we're going to do, we're going to label this one, 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 and one there. So we have a one on that face. Now the face behind it is face number two. So we're going to label that face number two. So we have two that side and one that side. But if we fold it and open it out again, we have one here and we have a blank face this side. So we're going to call that face number three, like that. Uh, and if we fold it and open it again, we get back to one on this side and two on this side. So let's fold it another way. Let's fold it up instead this time. So if we fold it up and open it out, well, there we have another face on the other side of two. So that is four so that is side number four let's fold that down and open it out and again we have side one and side two this time let's try it uh, let's fold it in half again and open it this way so we now have two on that side and we have nothing on this side that would be uh i think we're on side five now so that is side five uh and let's close that and open it again so we now have one again uh and if we fold it up uh, sorry, it's, it's quite hard to find all. Oh, there we go. Uh, and there would be side six. Now, this sort of makes sense. I mean, I'll, I'll show you why. And then, uh, so we have our four squares to make one face. Um, and if we unfold it, if I can unfold it, where are we? Let's see here. There we go. We have... Uh, four squares along there, four squares along there, two here and two here, so that's 12 squares on one side, that's 12 squares on the other side, that means there's 24 squares in total, 24 divided by four is six, uh, which means that we have our six faces and we've found all of them, as you can see, we've got numbers on all of our faces. Now, if we reassemble this, uh, it's possible that some of the faces won't line up again. So now we have another flexagon. Um, this is where the creativity bit comes in because you could use this in lots of different ways. For instance, you could draw uh, a Pokemon on one side, a Pokemon on the other side, and you could fold it over and you could have the evolve of one of the Pokemon on the other side. You could draw the evolution of another Pokemon on the other side. Uh, you could do this with Pepper Draw, potentially like, uh, uh, I don't know, like a smiley face on one of them. Uh, and then on the other side of that, you could draw, uh, I don't know, maybe a house. Put a door on there, some windows, this is very quickly. Uh, so you've got uh, a smiley face, you've got a house. Uh, and then if we turn it over, you could have, uh, I don't know, maybe a dragon or so. I can't draw, let's try and draw a dragon. So we've got that. Uh, we've got like a nice long snout here. We've got uh, some fire coming out of his nose, we've got some teeth. Um, got a bottom jaw here. Uh, let's go over there. We've got like a nice big reptilian head, maybe even some horns. That could be your dragon. Oh, it's gonna need some eyes as well. There we go. And then uh, you could draw other things, and you could try and make a story using this flexicon by folding it randomly. And seeing so we, we could have like a happy dragon uh, who attacks a house uh, I highly recommend you make them and now that you know what they are um, and you can make a simple one you can have a bit of fun with them and in the next episode we're going to teach you how to make two more that are a little bit more complicated 
so have a, have, a, have a go at this, uh, see if you can find all six faces, see if you can come up with some cool pictures drawn them, see if you can come up with some stories. I, yeah, uh, post it to our Facebook page as well, we'd absolutely love to see what you come up with. So we're going to move on from Flexicons for now, we'll come back to that next week. Uh, I'm going to give you some quick puzzles that you can use to trick your friends or your parents uh, and I'm going to give you the answers in the video, at the end of the video next week after I've taught you how to make two more flexagons. Our first puzzle is this, we have a triangle made up of two pence pieces. Now what you could do is you could get some card and cut out ten two pence piece sizes of um, card, it doesn't matter, just ten things that are circular arranged in a triangle. Now this triangle is currently pointing away from me uh, and your task is to rearrange this triangle so that it is facing upside down by only moving three coins. So let's remake the triangle. So you need to make it from pointing towards you like it was to pointing down towards me by only moving three coins. Three coins. So that is our first puzzle. Our next puzzle, we're going to draw three circles, another three circles, and another three circles like that. Now it's your job to use three straight lines to connect them all. Now you could try and do it like this, but when you've got these two that are not connected, you could try, I don't know, that, that and that, but then you've got this row is not connected to this row in any way. So have a think about that. You've got three straight lines to connect all nine circles. This one is, is similar. This time we're going to have some dots. Six, uh, sorry, nine dots in a square like that. And this time you've got four lines to connect them all. Now, you, again, you could do something like one, two, three, four, uh, but that leaves some of them not connected, actually. That could be, that could be one solution, uh, but that is not the solution I'm looking for. I want weird and wacky solutions. I don't want simple things like that. I want the weirdest solution that you can come up with. Um, I'm going to give you a, another puzzle. One moment. And this is going to be our final puzzle for today. Uh, this is one of my favourite puzzles. It's a maths puzzle. Um, I want you to imagine that you have got an electricity station. You have got a gas station. And you have got a water station. So you've got electricity. Um, call it electricity. You've got a, a gas station and you've got a water station. You've got three houses. And your task is to connect the electricity, gas and the water station to each of those houses. So each house needs to have electricity, gas and water going into it. So the first line is easy, electricity, gas, water. Now electricity needs to go to that house, uh, it also needs to go to this house. Now there's one thing, there's one more um, constraint, the, power, the lines cannot cross each other, that is the important thing, okay? The lines cannot cross each other, so we can't now put gas to that house by crossing that line. So we can't, this is not allowed you have to go around somehow and get to this house. So you have electricity going to three houses, we have uh, water going to one house, two house, and it's your job to see if there is a way to connect all three of these um, companies, all three of these things, to all three of those houses without crossing lines, so without doing that. 
So that is your task. They are your puzzle. So that has been uh, uh, Maths Time with Alex. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please do check out our YouTube channel. We've got loads of cool stuff on there. I'm doing some science. I'm doing some more maths. Uh, we've got Magic Time every day at midday. We've also got Close Up Magic on Mondays. We've got some cool people teaching Makaton Sign Language. We've got people teaching you how to solve Rubik's Cubes, teaching you magic, dancing, story times, you name it, yoga, uh, you name it. We've got, we've probably got it here. We've got baking, we've got cooking, we've got uh, quizzes. We've got so much stuff going on every single uh, day. We've got, every, we've got episodes going out every uh, two hours between eight and six every day. Uh, so please do uh, stick around, have a look at what we're putting out. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. Enjoy yourselves.